Hey boys. So for today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, it's going to be a hit or miss on the beloved, amazing, gorgeous Desi X Katie collection. In this video, I will show you this eye look that I got along with some swatches of like the highlighters, um, the lip products. I'll be doing, I'll be showing it all. All of it. But yeah, I just want to make this intro short, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, let's get started. As you can tell by the title, we are doing a hit or miss review slash swatches on the Desi X Katie collection. Um, I actually have two boxes because I ordered like majority of the collection, but, and then I didn't really get, I didn't add Sap Savage and Hot Fire into um, my cart because I was like literally rushing, so I did a whole separate purchase. But the whole like first part came first like a week before and I was waiting, waiting, waiting. Like I literally ordered it like five minutes after I ordered the first part. So I thought like I was gonna get it all at once, I could just film the video. But no, it came later. So now that is why I'm filming it all now. When you open it up, you guys all know it says the Desi X Katie all new packaging. They're gorgeous faces on this little pamphlet pamphlet paper, you know. Um, I got the eyeshadow palette, of course, so it gives you the direction how to use it. Has their own little tissue paper. Open it up. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I've used some of these products. I just cannot wait. Like I really needed to, but some I have not, and we will be doing that in the video, so you'll see it all. But yes, this is what it looks like inside with their gorgeous packaging, and then the same for the other one. But I noticed that um, it's the same thing. Ooh. The card fell out except they ran out of the nude um, tissue paper as you can see for this side has a nude one this one has the white one but I don't care it's just tissue paper it's whatever for today's video I'm going to give you a tutorial or just like how to use the eyeshadow I'm gonna do a makeup look with it and I'm also gonna do some lip swatches lip swatches for you guys and I'm gonna um, swatch the highlighters for you on my face I'll do one on this side and one on the other all right, so as you guys already know, if you love Katie and Desi, they already say that um, their palette is for like the lid only and you already have your favorite transition shades. So I'm going to be taking the Morphe 350 palette and my Jaclyn Hill palette. Don't mind this, I just label my Morphe palettes because I have a couple of them and I don't want to just keep turning it around, you know? Let me just put this hair up. It is way too hot. So using my MAC 224 blending brush along with this yellow shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette that is going to be my crease slash transition shade. Now to darken up the crease a little more, I'm going in with this shade right here. It's kind of like a mustardy brown shade. This is honestly my favorite shade from the Morphe um, 350 palette. Like, it's not too, like, brown, but it's also not too green, not too yellow. It's, it's perfect. This is my favorite color. Oh, my favorite shade. So I'm only going to do one eye right now, and then I'll just finish it after because I'm not just going to go back and forth, okay? So going into the eyeshadow quad, look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. All right. So I think... I'm going to use, what do I want to use today? So for all over the lid, I'm going to use Harpoon. We'll just do that first. I'm also going to use the other shades, but I'm going to start with Harpoon. I'm just going to read it off what it says to do for Harpoon. It says, take metallic to a whole new level with this dazzling shade. This unique shadow is formulated to be used wet. Um, for maximum texture and color payoff, apply with a damp finger. Okay, as you guys can see here, beam in. Take my finger and just whoop all over the lid. Okay. Okay. Wow. This is honestly going to be like the perfect color for fall. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go back on my blending brush just to blend it out a little more. 
So this is all I'm going to do for now. I'm going to go in with the other shades or another shade. Um, but first, let me go ahead and do this side. Now that I went ahead and did both eyes, um, what do I want to do next? So for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use Fuego along with Suze. So just spray it. So grab some Fuego. So you're going to apply in the inner corner. So before, I used to just like literally put it in the inner corner, but I was watching Katie's Snapchat and I noticed she like brings it up into the eyeshadow. So I've been doing that recently and it really, I really like how it looks. So I'm just gonna dip into Suze and do the same exact thing right on top. I went ahead and applied my lashes and these are the Violet Boss Just Slaying Lashes. Now to, um, smoke out my lower lash line I'm going to go back in the morphe 350 and again take that mustard shade color and apply it on my lower lash line and to do so I am going to use my Luxie mini 111 brush so now I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm using the pixie by Petra 3-in-1 mascara I'm going to go into the highlighters now, and on the right side of my face, I'm going to use the Fuego highlight, which is, I think this is the lighter version. Yeah, yeah. Fuego is way lighter. When I saw Mirame, 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 um, I was like, ooh, I don't know. But everyone was saying that it looks dark. Like, I could, I swatched it. Okay, I swatched it. But not on my face. I haven't worn it on my face yet. I'm just going to put the highlighters on my face. We're going to go on the right side and use Fuego. And I'm taking my Morphe 510 brush. Yeah. Left side, I'm going to go in with Mirame. This is more of like a pinky toned um, highlighter. So we'll see how this looks on me. It is darker. Oh my gosh, my hair looks like ridiculous, but... Whatever. After my nose highlight, I'm going to use Fuego. Just want to give you an overview. Honestly, from afar, I can't even tell the difference. But I really like the gold undertone highlights, so I'm going to have to say Fuego is my favorite. Let me just go on and add it on top. And on my chin. Don't get me wrong, I love both. They're both gorgeous, but Fuego is more so my cup of tea. I'm gonna set my face using my Max Fix Plus. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go through all the lip products and show you what they look like on my lips. The first one is going to be over the top, which is just a lip gloss. Can we just take a moment and look at this? It's gorgeous. I'm not really a lip gloss person, but I was like. It smells so good. And there's like some gold speckles in here, sparkles, but it's not like over dramatic. So here is what over the top looks like. Next, we are going to go in with their lipstick and this one is no shade. I'm not really a fan of the um, creamy white nudes. I don't think I'll be able to rock this. I mean, if I use a um, lip liner and then just put it in the middle, yes, absolutely. But like this, just full color, I don't know. Next is more creamer, please. And this one, I was just so hyped for. Like when I saw it, I was like, I love like the orange nudes, like that's my favorite. I'm not really a fan towards the pinky, it's a really light nude. I just like like a warm tone nude. So this is more creamer please and honestly look, this lipstick just ties in the whole makeup look together. Like. I love it. I just love this shade. This is my favorite, like, out of all the lip products that they did with the collab. 
more creamer please is my favorite so yes i'm going to apply hot fire and i really love how their packaging looks for the liquid lipstick it's so adorable hot fire Honestly, I would just wear this lip for like a statement look So I'd probably just do like a natural face and just have this like the bold thing because Having bold eyes and a bold lip is a little much for me. So this is hot fire. Um It is all out there like it is there and last but not least for the last lipstick lip product liquid lipstick We are going to be using Can you guess? Can you guess? Yes, Sauvage so this one is going to be perfect for fall. I already know this is like going to be like the main lipstick. I mean the main liquid lipstick. It is dark. Girl, it is dark. Mm -hmm. It is pigmented. Like when you use dark lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, whatever, you will see streaks. But I'm not seeing any streaks. Ooh. Ooh. Um, this liquid lipstick or these liquid lipsticks are super moisturizing. I've never really tried those with colors before this collab, but like you can tell when a liquid lipstick is drying, it gets super patchy and like just mm, like disgusting. Like, no, this is moisturizing. But yeah, I honestly love it. Like, I feel like it looks darker in camera, but in person it looks more of like a moth. I mean, it looks more like a wine purple shade. So yes, this is Savage. So yes, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, in all, in conclusion, I think you guys can guess it, that the Desi X Katie collection with Dose of Colors was a hit. Absolutely not a miss. Um, all their products were super pigmented, and I can actually use all these products on an everyday basis. Like, some makeup products would be, like, super dark, or I don't know, I just feel like Desi and I... Desi and X-Katie. I just feel like Desi and Katie understand the nudes because like that is my favorite thing like just nude colors, nude eyes, but also can give you like a pop of like green or like a smoky eye. I just really love the products and all the hard work you can tell they put into it and all the products are really them. Like their new lipsticks, you can tell which one's Katie's, which one's Desi's and I look forward to also just shopping on those with colors in general because the shipping was absolutely fast. I mean, the second part was a little long, but my first package, like, I ordered it, and, like, within a week or less, it just, it came in. It was so fast. So, yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you're in the future. Please subscribe. Stay blooming, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Swear it's been seven